Hello everyone, welcome to Production and Operations Management. In this video, I'm going to briefly discuss about the facility layout example uh, on this Excel file. So, uh, everything is all set up here, and what we have to do is in this model, we have to look at the variables, so the assignments of these uh, departments into the areas and the variables represent the location of those those departments for example if I change the variables to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 then uh, department 1 is located in area A, department 2 is located in area B etc and if I uh, let's say change this to 3, 2, 1 and 6 by four, then I can see that now department D is located in area six, and department E is located in area five, etc. Now these are the distances and these are the volumes. The formula here looks at the table, <coughs> and when we and based on the information that we have uh, as the variable number, and puts the corresponding letter in the uh, in the cell so here's a VLOOKUP of C5 it tries to find one in the table one is in in the third uh, row and in this table and this is the second column of the table and we want an exact match so it finds one and the corresponding department is C then it returns C in the cell so if I do the same thing, tries to find uh, 4, 4 is in the last row, and the corresponding letter is F, so it turns F here in this cell. So the, the areas and the distances, uh, we are trying to find where A is in terms of this assignment. Uh, A is in the third location, so there is number using the match function returns 3 and B is in the second location so it puts in there and it finds a distance between A and uh, B and the distance is 25 it tries to find what it, where the distance between A and B are located in departments 2 and 3 the distance between 2 and 3 is 25 it is using the max function because it looks at this number and also looks at this number if any one of these is entered so, so it will take uh, that number into consideration you can also use the sum function here if you have some other variables some other values of distances but most of the time the distances are in the upper right corner there is no need to have another distance number to be entered there so then the volumes here is going to look at try to find A in the from from this uh, list of the values in the column and it's the first value and B is in the second value so it will return the volume of 50 between A and B let's look at B and F so the volume between B and F B is in the in the second row and F is in the uh, sixth row so this is the intersection it looks at that volume value and then returns the value of zero so this is the function to take those A and B's and turn them into numbers using the match functions and then using this uh, matrix to find the volume information there and finally what we have to do is we have to look at the total volume distance and it's the sum product of the distance and volumes now the idea is we have to find this variable assignments we need to find only six numbers in the cells so that we will minimize this value so we could just enter maybe uh, two three one and five four and six if I do that I have a 13,250 meters 
So what numbers that I should enter in these cells so that I could make this number the minimum? So I can use a solver to do that and I'm going to just first use a solver and this, this command button here is just the same thing as using a solver. So what I want to do is I want to minimize my objective, my number here and by changing the variables <clears throat> and then what I need to do is I need to say that all these numbers that I see here they have to be less than or equal to 6 and I'm adding that and I'm saying that all these numbers that I see here they are greater than or equal to 1 and all these numbers that I see here they are integer numbers so it's not going to be 1.5 and also all these numbers that I see here have to be different from each other when I do that the last one I need to just click OK and what I need to do is I need to use a solving method of evolutionary solver which is a heuristic the regular solvers in Excel, the, the other solvers will not be able to find a solution to this problem because it is using a number of functions and it is going to be very complicated to do. <clears throat> so I'm just going to click on solve and it, as you can see right away it was able to find the best solution. So the first incumbent that you see here, the, the value, it is the, the current solution and objective cell is now 9500 so 9500 is is the, fi the final solution if I want I could just click on escape and keep the current solution or just wait if there is any number that's lower than 9500 we do not know if this number is the best number because this is a heuristic it tries to find the best solution but it cannot prove that it is the best solution so it solved about 70,000 sub problems it's increasing. It's a very fast algorithm, but still is having difficulty finding a solution to this small problem. So it was able to find this and it is the it puts F as the first uh, in the first area and then A B C D E and a total volume distance ends up to be 9500. If I do the same thing again in this case if I maximize to see what is the largest the worst case using the evolutionary solver again now it's 18,000 it's like double in terms of distance and I'm waiting for the solution to stop Fine. So solver cannot improve the current solution and all constraints are satisfied. If the solver puts them in this order, B, E, A, F, D, C, then the total volume distance becomes 18,000 meters. So this is the end of this example. Thanks for watching.